Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators, and this time we're going to take a look at making a virtual reality simulation. It should be noted that in these early sneak peek videos, the graphics, that is the terrain and the stuff you see in the renders, is the old graphics engine. We'll be introducing the new graphics engine in future sneak peek videos. So by now, you've seen quite a lot of the Game Guru Max's current incarnation with character creator, structure editor, dynamic Lua system and the like. But the one thing we haven't shown you yet is virtual reality. Now you've probably noticed in the toolbar there were some extra buttons. You obviously remember the rocket, which is test level, but right next to it, VR mode. And beyond that, multiplayer mode. But we're going to look at VR mode. Now VR, virtual reality, is the idea that it's similar to test level, where you can run around your game that you've created but with virtual reality you can actually put some headsets on you can use virtual reality controllers and run around your level in VR so we're going to do that right now as you can see there's a level I created it earlier and I'm just going to press the VR mode button now this is just an alpha build of Game Guru Max's VR but it's up and running and it works with Windows Mixed Reality. Now let me just explain what you're seeing. I've got a headset. In the real world, I have a headset that I'm putting on my head now. Uh, and in order to make sure the headset runs nice and fast, um, I've slowed down the FPS on the screen. And it's the screen that's being screen captured for this sneak peek video. So don't worry that it all looks a little bit stuttery. That's simply a product of the fact that in virtual reality, I get it nice and smooth. And in the monitor 2D land, you get it at like 10 frames per second or something. But what I wanted to show isn't necessarily the frame rate, which you'll get to experience for yourself in a future alpha build of Game Guru Max. It's simply to show you these controllers. Because up until now, you've not really had an opportunity to see them. So hopefully you can see what I can see. I have two controllers in front of me, and there is a green laser shooting out my right hand. If I touch the other touchpad on this, it switches to the left and to the right. So you can see I can use either controller. Let's ignore this little guy. I'm just going to keep walking around this rock. So I'm using the joystick. So joystick back and joystick forward will move me. As I rotate my head and then push forward with the joystick, it moves in that direction. So I can go backwards and forwards. The joystick left and right is a 45 degree turn. So I'll turn 45. 45, then the other way, 45, 45, 45. So that's standard for, say, the Windows Mixed Reality approach uh, to moving and rotating. The idea of moving isn't that common. A lot of the VR games that I've played will use teleport, which is also supported in Game Guru Max. You've also got a trigger. Obviously, we're going to need to add something in the scene that will respond to a trigger, but I can show you that in a little bit. But I just want to show you the teleport. So there's a touchpad. So you've got seen the joystick. Now there's a touchpad to the to the right of it on this controller. And if I just touch it, you'll see that my laser is now turned into a, a dotted arc. So I can say select here, press down on the touchpad, dink, and I just trans teleport to there. So this is called teleport. I can teleport here. I can teleport all the way around this rock. This is the preferred method of moving around in VR. As you can see, it will go red if you can't teleport to the area, and green if you can teleport to the area. So that's teleport. So let me show you the next thing. So let me just come out of test game. I just want to add one object just to show you the trigger. So if I select, it um, needs to be something relatively small. Maybe this, maybe this barrel will do it. So I'm going to drop in a barrel. Just going to extract, switch it to dynamic, and then set logic. So pick up simple, and then rerun in VR mode. Put my headset back on. And now we have this barrel. So we move up to it. As you can see, as I point my laser at the object, can pick up objects. So I press the trigger, and now I can pick up the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then trigger again drops it and you got some prompts can pick up can drop can pick up and drop and this is actually quite cool so I can sort of whisk it into the distance if I wanted to and that's the trigger button 
So as you can see, you've also got one button on the side. That's basically a grip button on the side. So I just hold that down and push forward. Then it runs really fast. If I let go of the grip, it walks. Hold in grip, it runs. And so that's the control system. You've got joystick, you've got touch, you've got your laser, you've got teleport, and you've got grip. And that's ambidextrous, so all of the controls I've just shown you with this also works with this controller. So as you can see, it's really that simple to create virtual reality with Game Guru Max. In fact, all you've got to do is just drop down the entities for your level and then press a VR button. Put on your headset, grab your favourite controller, and then away you go. You've created instant VR. All thanks to Game Guru Max. Check out the link below for a great discount on Genguru Max. Don't forget next Wednesday we're going to do a live broadcast full of Genguru Max goodness. So go to the Genguru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.